we've seen that insane scene, let's talk about what everything represents. Well, of course, we're in the galaxy, so this strange scene in the galaxy reminds us of Strep Agalactae. And in our scene, the baby was abducted from the mother astronaut who fearlessly fought for her baby back. And she got it. But before we talk about the mother and her baby, let's talk about these aliens over here. So these aliens over here represent Strep Agalactae, the bad guys in our scene. As we note again, they're purple because Strep Agalactae is gram-positive and thus stains purple in gram staining due to the thick peptidoglycan wall. We also see that they lined up in chains as Strep Agalactae is of course a chain, as is the case with all Strep species. And of course they're spherical in shape because Strep Agalactae, just like Strep Pneumoniae and Viridins, are spherical shaped. And the astronaut outfit, or this capsule over here, which these microbes move around in, remind us of the polysaccharide capsule, which is a major virulence factor of Strep Agalactae. And just because we're here, we'll talk about the pencils, that Strep Agalactae is treated with penicillins, but we'll talk more about this soon. Let's take a look at the spaceship. So this is mom and baby's spaceship over here. And the baby liked to hang out in this tent over here. It's actually called the camp. C-A-M-P. The CAMP test is a test to identify Strep Agalactae, and this is based on their formation of a substance called CAMP factor that enlarges the area of hemolysis formed by the beta hemolysin elaborated from Staph aureus. Which brings us to our next point, that just like Staph aureus was beta hemolytic, as we recall the beta fish from our Staph aureus scene, Strep Agalactae is also beta hemolytic, separating it from Strep Pneumoniae and Strep Viridins, which were alpha hemolytic. You may also recall the basket of raisins that we quickly saw in the scene that was attached to the resistor. The baby liked to eat these raisins over here. I'm not sure why the mother used a resistor to attach the basket of raisins to the spaceship, but this basket of raisins attached to the resistor, or basket of raisins resistor, reminds us of bazitracin resistant, as a characteristic of Strep Agalactae is that it's bazitracin resistant. So that's really it for the tests for Strep Agalactae. Actually, you may want to recall the hippurate test, and that's that Strep Agalactae is the only hippurate positive strep because it produces an enzyme called hippuricase or hippurate hydrolase just in case that comes up in exams, but it's not so high yield. Then we take a look at the bee over here. This bee has been a pet of the family for a very long time. This bee over here just reminds us of B, group B strep. That strep agalactae is group B strep, as opposed to strep hyogenes, which we'll see in a future scene, which is group A strep. All right, so now why did we have a mother and the baby in the scene? This is because strep agalactae colonizes the female genital tract, as well as the GI tract, but on exam, it comes up mostly in the female genital tract, especially the vagina. In pregnant women who are colonized with Strep Agalactae, bacteria can ascend from the vagina through the cervix and get right into the uterus, and they can cause chorioamnionitis, and this could result in miscarriage or premature delivery. And when infection spreads to the fetus itself, it could cause intrauterine death. Also, if Strep Agalactae goes from the vagina up the urethra to the bladder, it can cause cystitis. Now back to the baby, in pregnant women who are colonized with Strep Agalactae, there's a risk that they'll pass the bacteria to the newborn during natural childbirth and cause lots of complications in the baby. And that was represented by these green letters over here, which the aliens used to trap the baby, PMS, not premenstrual syndrome, but pneumonia, meningitis, and sepsis, three diseases that a baby can get from Strep Agalactae as it passes through the mother during birth. And it's for this reason that we test women who are pregnant at around 36 weeks. Used to be 35 to 36, now it's 36 to 38. So I wrote 36 over here on the screen to remind us that screening occurs at around 36 weeks. But 36 weeks over here on the screen reminds us of screening at 36 weeks. And again, we treat the mother with penicillin or ampicillin if she's colonized. For penicillin-resistant strains, or in individuals who are allergic to penicillins, we can give other antibiotics such as cefazolin or vancomycin. All right, so that's really it for this scene on Strep Agalactae. I really hope you enjoyed. Take care.